we're in the worst possible container for a tornado. Oh yeah. We're in an empty box that weighs nothing. I know. We're, we're not. We're not sleeping. Grayson, you can go lay down, buddy. Please don't come in our room. There's a tornado coming tonight. I hope not, buddy. Buddy. But we're watching the weather, right? Now. Wait, do you have a safe room? We don't have a safe room. Good question. If mommy and daddy think something's gonna come, we're gonna grab you and we're gonna run to the bathrooms. Got it? We will not stay in Ace. Got it? We're, we're watching it. We love you and we're not gonna let anything happen. That's rain. That's rain. It's hitting us now. I love you, buddy. Sweet dreams. Yeah, Ruby's panting. She doesn't like this. It's a whole lot different than being in Nashville where we have a basement and a safe oh, space where we can go Okay, to. so it's about to hit. Seriously, the whole state of Texas is nothing. And we're in this little bleep. Mm -hmm. Right, Ruby, you okay? You okay, Rooster? It's your good girl. It's okay. Seriously. Oh my goodness. Temperatures drop drastically. 1026. So it looks like we're going to be staying up for another hour. Okay. We made it. Storm rolled through. It's pretty loud. Kind of rocked a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Try to get some sleep now. Very tired. We're all good. But so. we know it's okay now because yeah, the Rubes. Our little barometer is a happy girl. Our canine barometer. She's, she's We're all alone. It's right around the sun. No one knows when their turn so. is done. Gonna live while we can before our time runs out. Cause there's never another now. <laughs> Grayson, you have another loose tooth? How are you gonna pull this one out? The tree saw. The, tr the tree saw? The tree trick. If we had to attach my tooth to it, you get a chainsaw and you cut it down. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. wow. Okay. Daddy didn't bring his chainsaw. No. Do you have any other ideas on how to get your tooth out? Get the crowbar out of there. The what? what? The crowbar. <laughs> you want me to get your tooth out with a crowbar? <laughs> now, I don't know about that. Alright, so this morning we decided we'd stop in and see old Chip and Joanna. So here we are. Not a kid store. I think it's funny how Chip's Corner only has like hats, coffee mugs, and a couple of construction tools. The American dream right here. They had a vision. And now they have how many employees did you say? Six hundred people. All they had was a vision, good marketing, and strong work ethic. And they didn't give up. They didn't give up. They all their failures. Right. They didn't give up. This makes me want to read their book, which is for sale in there. <laughs> Thank you.
But yeah, I guess that should have been a videoed moment. What happened? Our cord got tangled inside the camper. Sometimes if you put it back in and pull it back out a few times or try twisting it, it'll loosen itself, but it wasn't doing it. So no big deal, just had to pop off these five screws and I could reach my hand in there and pull the whole thing out and get it untangled. Not gonna let it ruin my day. Good job. It's just RV. We're leaving Texarkana, heading to Arkansas. And we don't know the next time we're gonna be back in Texas or anywhere south. So where do you wanna go for lunch? So I have to get my... Whataburger! Whataburger! I think Whataburger is to Texans what In N Out Burger is to Californians. So uh, I can't say which one's better. I've never had an In N Out Burger. Maybe if you have, you can comment on this video and tell us which one's better if you've had both. But I'm excited. I get the Whataburger with cheese and jalapenos. So good. So good. What are you going to get? Are you going to get it? What are you gonna get? I get the kids meal chicken strips with gravy. Mmm, the gravy's so good. What are you getting? Just root beer. Just root beer? No way. I don't know. I need to see the menu. I, just, I, I don't want to hang out. Wow. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you? So this is the last Whataburger before you leave Texas. And we wandered in on Local Hero Appreciation Day. So it's firefighters, police, EMTs, and kids are eating free. here at Pettigeen State Park. Looks like there's a storm rolling in, so we want to really make sure we get to our campsite and set up before this huge line of storms hits. Rule number I don't know, four maybe? Unless you're comfortable with your campsite before you back into it, don't back into it. Get out and look. This tree right here is gonna be a problem. Look at the tree. <laughs> and then look at all the tail light pieces. The tail light pieces on the ground. All right, well. I agree with you. You wanna try to get a different site? Uh, Let's maybe go try to get a different site. All of these. All right, so it is pouring down rain at Pettigeen State Park, and we found this one other spot. The only problem is we gotta see if we're gonna fit. All right, so we fit. Now, we gotta level it. Let's walk around. Hi. I can see you now. All right. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's way unlevel. I told you. All right, we gotta come up big time on the... Oh, oh, come with me. Yeah. Okay, so we just gotta get our boards and probably gonna need two. Think too. We might have just got lucky. I think both of those, those slides might come out. That's all we have, so it's got to be level enough. Yeah, let's do uh, well. All right, we're at Pettigeen State Park today, which is in Arkansas, and we hear there's a lot of cool Native American things and a cave Caves. and a big waterfall. We're going to go see all that stuff today. Are we excited? Yeah. Grayson, you excited, buddy? Yeah. How about you? How cool this is. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day. It's 72 degrees and sunny in June. Which is unheard of. Yeah, it's crazy. So here we go.
Okay, so we're up here at Pettigene Mountain, and the story is that a long time ago, a French explorer wanted to explore these parts, and uh, he had a very beautiful fiance, and she wanted to come with him, but he wouldn't allow it, and women weren't allowed on ships back then, so she cut off all her hair and disguised herself as a man so she could join the crew. Well, by the time they got to this spot, she became really sick, had a fever, and just before she died, they discovered that she was a woman, and not just any woman, but the uh, expedition leader's fiance. And her last request was to be buried up here on this mountain. They say her spirit still hovers here, and giving this mountain its spirit of enchantment. And her grave is right down here. All right, so we are one month into this thing, and we're still here, yeah, somewhere. Yay. Yeah, we're doing okay, but we've had some questions pop up from friends and family and viewers along the way. So we and figured even other campers, other campers that find yeah. out what we're doing. They were like, people want to know where we're from first of all, and how long are we staying and or where we're going. And when they find out our story, they're very intrigued and they want to know more. And so we've encountered a few questions. So the first one is. How are we adjusting from suburban life to road life? I, I think we're doing pretty well. You know, we're finding out we just don't need as much stuff. Oh, no. we, in fact, we're finding out that we overpacked we, a lot. We did. Um, you know, you get out here camping and, you know, we camped before this trip. And, it was and when all we go camping, games. it was like s'mores. And Every night, Dr. Pepper for me, rolls, and cinnamon rolls the in the morning, cinnamon toast crunch. We can't do that. No, we and can't. that was a hard adjustment for the kids. When we are in the RV now, it's not all fun and games. It is our normal life, and we are having to transition to that, and it gets a little tough. We have to work, but we're working on it. We are, and, but I really feel. Overall, we've done a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. um, oh, sorry, bugs. Question two, how much does it cost to be out here? And this was something we thought we could budget. Well, we thought we were doing a good job budgeting and then I think we did okay. Mm -hmm. But when you get out here, you just never know where A, you're gonna be able to get a campsite, mm -hmm. how much that campsite's gonna cost, how much gas is going to be that week? It can I mean, vary as much as 50 cents right. a gallon. Right. During the summer, budget a little more. Are we budgeting? Did we budget? <laughs> I don't remember budgeting. We had a clue. We had a ballpark. We had a ballpark. But I... So just to give you guys a rundown of our first month. Now keep in mind, we did go to Cuba. So that was a cruise. We were not driving anywhere. Right. Our kids were with That was my pretty parents. much eight or nine days. We were in with family, not driving really anywhere. So no campsites. And then we did stay no with Cameron on right. his land for, for three, three or four days. Oh, yeah. So we did have friends and family play into this equation. But for the first month, what we spent on gas, $829.77 on gas. And that's, that's a lot. That's a lot for not even traveling the whole month. Lodging, meaning... Campsites. Campsites. That's it. Campsites. KOA, state parks, Good Sam, all that stuff. We spent six hundred and eleven dollars and one cent. Miscellaneous. Uh, we did have miscellaneous things pop up like hard drives. It's unbelievable the amount of video that we are taking. Terabytes and terabytes of video. If you're gonna do this no, and start a vlog or vlog, whatever it's called, whatever you want to do. I mean, we are filling up terabytes upon terabytes just hundreds of them so, well not hundreds of terabytes hundreds I don't know. of gigabytes this is, this is yeah. his thing yeah. oh and the bugs i, I video Let's i video this. and then we just Let's hold this right i here. pass it on to him <laughs> he goes from there yeah but, so we, but the thing is he doesn't delete anything i don't delete anything so we keep it all just for the kids maybe one day they'll want to go back and watch the unedited videos but whatever so I think we're up to 12 terabytes so far in one month. In one month. How many miles have we gone? That's a big That's one. That's another one. Since we left the house, and this is not even driving full time, 
We've gone 3,253 miles. We have hit Tennessee, Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, and, and Arkansas. I said that. Seven states. Seven states. Yeah. In one month. So, and Cuba. Question four. What's the coolest thing we've done so far? So. This is a toughie. We've done a lot of cool things. For me, I think it would just be when we were camping in Florida and being able to stay an extra day. That's our first time we've ever added an extra day because we liked the place and we weren't on such a time schedule. But Florida for me, there was such a kid-friendly environment. We all were happy there and that made me happy. What about you? We had a movie night in the camper just with the, the new configuration, us. everybody in the one room. And it was great. That's probably my favorite memory. All right, question five. What is the um, biggest so challenge? So Grayson, oh. um, our big challenge right now is getting our kids to put our stuff up. Grayson parked his bike in the road and this poor guy had to move it. He just moved his bike? You know what? I'm going to go ask this guy if we need to move anything. Because that's camper etiquette 101. You want me to move my truck? <laughs> It may help a little bit. Yeah, man, no problem. I'm gonna bother you with it. Yeah, shoot. Campers, we have found, are so nice and so helpful. Time to go help. Wow, what an eventful five minutes. We had a new neighbor pull up who needed us to move our truck, which totally, totally get fine. It because we understand. parking can be stressful. The less obstacles you have, the better. The better. And then Adeline just lost a tooth. She pulled her own tooth. Adeline has lost two teeth. All right, next question. What has been our biggest challenge of being out here on the road? Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's bugs. Right now it's bugs. Um, getting everyone to put their things away where they go. I'm saying everyone. And I'm not out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tell me about your new responsibilities. What are you doing? Electrical, locking everything, putting the jacks up. That's Ooh, it's getting hot right That's here. pretty important. Did you do all your did you do all your jobs? Yep. Think you did them pretty well? Alright. It should be enough to travel. Well that was fun. It was. We totally looked out with the weather. Oh. And of course, as soon as we start talking. People start mowing. That's Seems to be from our neighbor in Nashville. It just follows us. All right, so all we have to do is get these boards up and we're out of here for Branson. Table Rock State Park. All right. We're all on this ride around the sun. No one knows when their turn is done. Gonna live while we can before our time runs out. Cause there's never